Hey YouTube, Mr. Bagelfart here, and today we are going to be playing The First Tree. This is a beautifully told story where you play as a fox trying to find her missing cubs while also learning of a son trying to reconnect with his father. This amazing third person indie game is created by David Wheel. If you enjoyed games like Gone Home and Firewatch, then this is a must play. So let's get started. Are you awake? I thought I heard you get up. Yeah, I'm awake. Sorry, I just can't sleep. While navigating through the world, you'll come across clues as to what happened to the fox's cubs, and you'll find artifacts that tell the story of the son's relationship with his father. Points of light showed the way to this ancient tree. It was as if each one had a story to tell all their own. There are a total of 150 points of light that you can collect throughout the game. It's important to collect as many as you can, but it's not required to beat the game. Without giving away any spoilers, I'll just say that the more points of light you collect, the more unique your ending, and the ending for others can be. There are different puzzles that you'll encounter to progress through the story. Most are fairly simple, so you won't need to look up any guides on how to beat them. Unfortunately, there are limited points of interest to explore and collect the light points. Only after you collect a third light from the rock will you be able to progress in the story. And the story gets heavy from both the perspective of the son and his father, but also the fox. The perpetrator stood nearby, unfazed, like nothing was wrong. Dad is dead, and he's never coming back, Rachel. I can tell you these stories, but I can never reminisce with him again. He can never hold a grandchild that we'll probably never be able to have. I can never talk to him again, and I'll never be able to say I'm sorry for everything. There are many different environments to run through, but there aren't any hidden items in the, any of the levels, which makes exploring a little lackluster. As I waited for the school bus one morning, I walked around until I found something in an abandoned shed. Something I can't put into words. I summoned courage I didn't know I had, and I broke into my dad's room and found the key to the shed where he had locked my bike. I'll never forget that feeling. With the wind rushing by my ears as the sun rose over fields of wheat. I was flying for the first time. I biked as far as my legs could take me until I found a house that felt friendly and that felt like home. While continuing on your journey, the more artifacts that you dig up, the more you learn about the father from the son's point of view. Emotions are captured very well through the voice acting and storytelling. This isn't a game that you'll play over and over again, but it is a quick one that you can play through. It will take you around an hour and a half to two hours to complete the story, depending on how much time you spend searching for the points of light. If the first tree on earth brought life with it, if it taught the birds to sing and fly and showed saplings how to grow, what could it do for us? Remember when I said the more points of light you collect, the more unique the ending will be? This is where they come into play depending on how many you collect. But, like I said before, no spoilers. I guess her journey was over. But I have no idea. It was only a dream. A distraction from tomorrow. The message on the tree at the end is different each playthrough, and it's determined by other players in the community, which I thought was a really neat feature. Overall, I'd give the first tree 1 out of 5 bagels on gameplay since it was very simple. 
I'd also give it one out of five bagels on fun since there isn't a high replay value to the game and there weren't any challenging parts. As far as story goes, I'd have to give it three out of five bagels since the story was very well told and the voice actors did a terrific job capturing the important and emotional moments. If this seems like a game you would enjoy, don't forget that you can pick up the game from Epic Game Store for free from now until April 22nd. Thank you for watching, and if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button to find out when I post new videos.